Bizarre things happen around us daily, and just like with the police, evidence is needed if we're to believe it. Lucky for us, this era has gifted us with lots of cameras to record these unbelievable events. From the moment a magical sinkhole developed a mistaken identity, to the moment news anchors could not explain the appearance of a weird-looking fish, here are 20 moments you wouldn't believe if not filmed. Violent Avalanche Who doesn't love the great outdoors? Not only is it a time to spend quality and unforgettable moments with nature, but it's also a chance to breathe in the beautiful natural air of Mother Earth. But then again, just like yin and yang, there are some pretty bad sides to this great outdoors. And when we say bad, we mean bad enough to make some of you prefer to snuggle with a blanket by the fireplace and listen to stories like this one from your iPad. But what is this bad event that you wouldn't have believed if it wasn't filmed? It's time to have your minds juggled. This incredible moment is the part two of the Avalanche of France. The France Avalanche happened back in the 10th of February 1970, and it was known for its violent waves of snowstorm that tore through buildings and streets like Bigfoot eating a hamburger. And if you're interested in knowing the number of casualties that resulted from the violent storm, you should get ready to write down a lot of zeros. But here's the thing, that violent France storm is back for the thrill of the spotlight and it happened in a European country. Just like the last time, the storm claimed a lot of mountain climbers' lives, and it was, in general, an unbelievable scene to watch. Look at that storm. Would you believe that it's real? Everyone knows how confidential law enforcers are with their cases, but some scenarios are extra confidential, even to other law enforcers. One of those scenarios was proven with this photo. They didn't know that a camera was watching them while they were transporting this strange creature through underground caves to who knows where. But even though their destination would be fun to know, what's more interesting is the creepy-looking creature. On one side, it looks like one of those aliens has been taken to Area 51, but on the other end, it looks like a starved skeleton brought back to life. Which do you think it is? An alien or an amazingly edited photo? In the comment section below, tell us what you think this is by using the hashtag sweet topic to alert us of your unique thoughts. Hunga Volcano Eruption Have you ever seen a volcano erupt? Of course you have. If you watched movies like Avatar, The Last Airbender, Volcano, Dante's Peak, Lava, Ashfall, The Crew, and others, you sure would have a vivid cinematic experience of volcanoes and the beauty of their eruptions. But you need to know that the real deal is always more beautiful. This video is the recording of the Hunga Tonga eruption in the late morning hours of the 30th of December 2021. But the best part of this eruption is that it happened three times within two months, December 2021 and January 2022. And between those three times, this one that you can see was the mildest. Now imagine how massive the second and third time would be. And just in case you were wondering, there were absolutely no casualties on this one, just a huge smoke of nature's beauty in full explosion mode. Flying cow. What would go through your head if someone told you they saw a flying cow? We're guessing you'll laugh your butt off and maybe even direct the person to a mental hospital for a checkup, because everyone knows cows don't fly. What if you have a video to prove you wrong? Taken right out of the scene in the 1977 Georgian film Mamino, this cow skydived the air with the aid of this helicopter and did what no cow has ever dreamed of, fly. Not only was the video completely hilarious when it was released on the internet, but it also drew in a lot of likes and comments, with some talking about the video being proof of how cheese is made. But the real story behind the video is so much different. Turns out the superstar cow was injured and had just undergone an inspection by a vet. So they wanted to transfer the cow, and because you can't expect an injured cow to walk for miles, everyone just thought, well, she could fly. And that's how the world learned about a cow sweeping through the air like a superhero. Now it's time for the final question. Do you believe cows can fly now? Fed a wild bear. Since we're diving into the wild world of animals, let's chat about this absolutely bonkers video of a fella treating a wild bear to a roadside snack in the middle of nowhere. Everybody knows feeding animals is a pretty great thing to do. People do it all the time, especially when they're feeling generous. 
But here's where the plot thickens. This guy wasn't dawling out treats to your run-of-the-mill picnic basket loving bear. He was serving dinner to a wild grizzly. And just to crank up the suspense a notch, our fearless friend here decided to turn his back on the wild, belly-growling carnivore. The scariest part is that you can even catch a glimpse of the bear sneakily nibbling at the man's feet and giving his back a couple of curious nips. But would you call this guy brave, or is he just the world's most trusting person? Let's ponder this for a second. If you found yourself in this wild situation, would you channel your inner bear grills and share your snack with a grizzly? Or would you sprint for the hills faster than you can say, very brave? Roping a ship. Another incredible video we're so glad was filmed is this man roping a boat like it was his prized school degree. Some of you struggle to tie your shoelaces without them turning into a knot. And don't get started on the necktie challenge. Some of you turn it into a weapon of mass distraction. But in the case of this man, he didn't even have to come close to the rope of the handles. He just casually twirled those ropes and voila, boat secured. Have you stopped to imagine how heavy that rope might be? Or how many years of practice this guy's got under his belt? The truth is, when you're good at something, you're not just good, you're superhero level good. Now it's time to talk about you. Can you top that? Do you think you can do better? Or do you have a skill that you think is cooler than roping a ship? While you ponder that, brace yourselves for the next video. It's a story about a hole that hates to be a hole. There are a few places you should never swim, and Chabahar Beach in Baluchistan is one of them. While this beach has a lot of interesting places to visit and explore, the most iconic part of this beach is the incredible hole at the center of the river. Like every other hole, water falls into it, and you'd expect that if you fall into it, you'll be meeting with an unforgettable downward drop. But you're about to be surprised. In this incredible hole, things don't fall into it. Things get blown up high like a whale spitting out water through his head. And when we say high, we mean really high. But what makes this hole like that? There are a lot of scientific facts that back up the claims, and there are also a lot of claims surrounding the hole. Some say it's the second version of Thor's hole, while others mention things about incredible pressure within it. But here's the trivia question. If the hole spits out materials that fall into it, how come it's allowing the river to flow smoothly down it? Think about that. Lucky man with an umbrella. You won't believe your eyes until you see this video. It's like something out of a movie or a comedy sketch. Picture this. This guy, strolling across a seemingly solid culvert, minding his own business, or even going home to wrap himself in blankets while sipping hot chocolate to get warm from the cold. And then, out of nowhere, the culvert collapses into the dam as if it's auditioning for a slapstick comedy routine. And just like that, it went from a beautiful masterpiece of architecture and art to complete nothingness and ruin. Now you'd think that anyone in that situation would be in for a real dunk, right? Hold on to your hats, because this guy not only survives, but comes out without a scratch. It's like luck itself decided to take a human form for a day and chose him. But here's the thing. It's not everyone that has this mere luck. Others chalked it up to a once-in-a-lifetime coincidence. But our hero, he calls it his trusty umbrella. As the legend goes, he still carries that same umbrella with him to this day. Who knew an umbrella could be your lucky charm against collapsing culverts? Life really is a sitcom sometimes. Devil's Tail Tornado In our previous video, we featured a fellow who was riding high on luck. But folks, get ready to meet the unluckiest guy in this one. It all started innocently enough with this cameraman capturing what seemed like the most breathtaking and heart-pounding spectacle of nature. But boy, did things take a turn for the worse faster than you can say thunderstruck. The scene happened in Chihuahua, northern Mexico, and the sky action you can see in this video is called the formation of a supercell thunderstorm in action. Now let's chat about thunderstorms for a minute. Supercell tornadoes are like the rock stars of thunderstorms. They have these colossal cyclonic rotations that reach sky high. And you know what that means? It's a cocktail of moist air, weird atmospheric things, and really strong winds all coming together. And guess what? They're the kind of thunderstorms that can cause the most jaw-dropping, hair-raising damage compared to their less dramatic siblings. Now, 
Can you picture the kind of fear that could have been running through the cameraman's mind to see a supercell tornado forming before his very eyes? But here's the million dollar question. What on earth does one do in a situation like that? And if your mind's racing just thinking about it, hang on to your hats because the next video is about to make your hair stand on end. Black Ringed Shaped Cloud This mysterious smoke donut casually floating in the sky has people in Pakistan thinking they've got an alien invasion on their hands. You heard that right. This dark ring up there was caught on camera by some astonished folks in Lahore. One cheeky onlooker even said it seemed like these aliens were taking their flying saucer for a spin on diesel. And the kicker? This smoky tourist just hangs out, not fluffing out like your average smoke ring should. But that's not all. Let's take you down to the exciting Twitter drama that erupted from this smoky hula hoop in the sky. One user dropped the video on Twitter with the caption, They're here, and bam, 31,000 views. The Twitterati couldn't make heads or tails of it, with many admitting it's the typical sign of an alien invasion. But some others said it's not your run-of-the-mill UFO sighting. Someone even joked, are scientists and moon travelers running on diesel now? But wait, there's more. Some party poopers have a plausible explanation, suggesting it's not intergalactic hatreds, but maybe just an explosion, a pyrotechnic test, fireworks, or something less stellar. Word has it that a similar smoke donut appeared in Chicago when an electric transformer blew up. What's your take? Dancing Parrot Have you always wondered how an introvert behaves with their favorite person when no one else is around? Check out this video. The best part of the video is the music from Backstreet Boys. So, it's like the Dancing Parrot was really grooving to the tunes of everybody Backstreet's back. And the others were like, can someone come to check to make sure this bird's okay? But did you know what the truth is? We all know that animals sometimes do the daintiest things, yet it's usually hard to believe until we see a video of them. Check it out. One of the Backstreet Boys fans is a colorful parrot with Michael Jackson's dance moves. Who would have thought? And the parrot right next to it, it's either not a fan of the jam or has the attitude of a typical strict dad. Wait, what if that parrot on the left is the father of the dancing parrot? This brings back a lot of memories. But just look at the parrot. Don't you just want to dance with him for a minute? Hashtag mood? Stealing large fence. People do a lot of things to keep thieves out of their houses. Some buy three Rottweilers with fierce teeth and sharp claws to show no mercy. Others invest in high security door locks. There are even some people who go as far as installing house cams with laser beams and other fun traps to hurt the thief a little before causing them to run away. And if it's anything like home alone, your self-defense mechanism would be two kids giving the thieves the worst days of their lives as they go from hot oil to pillow feathers and lawnmowers shaving their heads. But in the video, the defense mechanism was a fence, not an electrified fence, not a one with thorns on the outside or with face recognition, just an ordinary fence gate and now, see what happens? The thief came and stole it. You know, why not steal the fence first and then I'll get access to the house tomorrow? Though this is an absolutely serious topic, it's almost funny that the thief appeared alone and tried to carry the gate on his motorcycle. How amateur is that? If he really did want to steal something, he could have just opened the gate and gone inside, but he decided to take the gate away. Or maybe he's not a thief. Maybe his house just really needs a gate and he couldn't afford to buy one. Or maybe he's sleepwalking. Think about that. As for the update, no one knows where the gate or the motorcycle is. The man also vanished into thin air. Disturbing door. Speaking of gates, let's talk about these disturbing doors for a minute. Only one thing should cross your mind as you watch this video, that you don't want to get a job as the gatekeeper of this place. Otherwise, you'll always have to do multiple back and forth sprints just to close the gate. But let's take you down to the Twitter drama for this post. Some people liken this do-over to them trying to fix their life problems. As one closes, another opens. Or maybe it's the perfect video that captures how it would seem to try to protect your money from relatives who know you have money. If you like love stories, one user said that would be him trying to protect his heart after he gets a smile from his crush. Talk about impossibility. 
And then we had a completely rogue user that said you could first take a rock or something to throw at the person designing the fence. If it were you on the trend, what would you say? Mysterious Creature Swimming If the last video ended up on social media, then you're in for a dive because this video ended up on the news. Finding such a mysterious animal in the waters of the United States was a matter of national concern. People were scared to go in the water because no one knew what the creature was, why it was there, and if it was supposed to be there in the first place. At first, people thought it was just a bird flapping its wings underwater, but with more people commenting on their ideas, it became more and more unlike a bird. Then the question continued, what is that? And is it poisonous? But do you know the great thing about putting things up on the news? Everyone sees it, including those who know sea creatures like you know how to navigate your way around YouTube videos to find this one. And do you know what the creature is? It's a type of the many sea slugs the water has. It's also called a sea hare, characterized by a beak, long neck, and a body that moves like a bird flapping its wings. Do you agree with that conclusion or think it's something different? While you think about that, let's look at something more creepy that's in the next video. Purple Clouds What's the official color of clouds? Well, it's not like you'd put green or purple on a quiz and ace it, right? But hold on to your hats because all bets are off in the quirky world of meteorology. Case in point, the clouds over Lake City turned purple. If you're into colors, you might squabble over whether it's pink, magenta, violet, or somewhere in the middle. And let's face it, it's a tad eerie. But the thing is, these skies didn't just magically transform into a Crayola crayon box. This mystical violet hue appeared right after Hurricane Michael passed through the area. And guess what? Michael isn't the only hurricane with a penchant for rocking the purple sky look. Hurricane Delta and its stormy buddies have pulled this off too. So it seems you can expect this purple spectacle as long as the hurricane in question is scary enough to get its very own name. But how did this really happen? Let's do a little science lesson. The regular blue sky gets its color from light scattering by oxygen and nitrogen molecules in the atmosphere. But when you see that enchanting purple dance in the sky during hurricanes and typhoons, it's because the air is super soaked with moisture. And those storm clouds, and sometimes the sun, are just hanging low. So if you're a fan of purple clouds, cross your fingers you don't see them again soon because what usually comes before them isn't exactly a wear your party dress kind of event. Erupting Volcano Let's chat about another event that's not exactly your typical soiree. Picture this, layers of lava bubbling up from the belly of the earth and oozing out of Iceland's volcano like it's having a fiery tantrum. And it's quite the spectacle. This footage originally comes courtesy of a drone photographer who decided to take a little sightseeing tour when Iceland's volcano decided to throw a volcanic extravaganza in March 2021. And here's the kicker. This volcano had been tagged the volcano with a dysfunction. Imagine a volcano being long overdue for an eruption. It hadn't erupted in a whopping 781 years. That's a seriously long nap for a volcano. But on a lighter note, Imagine the drone goes into landing mode because of low battery. You just watch it slowly descend into its death. Still, it's an unbelievable moment to catch. Somebody just happening to be in the right place at the right time to catch the beginning of an eruption. Spider Apocalypse We know what it'd be like if zombies took over the world. We also know about aliens, Egyptian witches and mummies, and mutant animals like Godzilla or the dinosaurs in Jurassic Park. We also have an idea of what it'd be like if the Earth wanted to destroy itself with many natural disasters like Arctic blasts, geostorms, or tornadoes. And mice, we know about mice invasions. But what about spiders? Ever thought of what spiders could do to the world if they took over? This video gives us a pretty good idea. This video was shot in Gippsland's Longford when it was hit by spider infestation enough to have a wide net of spider webs covering a large area of land. If you have an arachnophobia, then please don't try visiting, because this is not just a place with a large web, but thousands of tiny, creepy, black spiders swarm together. These spiders came together to make giant webs, so stay away from rising floodwaters in Victoria's southeast. 
In their defense, they were just trying to survive, not necessarily take over. But who knows? Those spiders could be having bad thoughts, especially since the people living in the Gippsland region have been sharing photos of some spiders jumping on the front bonnet of cars. Now, let's take a break from eerie things and move to the most despicable moment ever. Deep Fried Phone A hilarious video making the rounds has everyone in stitches. Picture this, a woman in a kitchen trying to whip up some culinary magic. But here comes the plot twist. She accidentally slips her phone into the fryer. Who knew smartphones had a secret craving for deep fried makeovers? In this viral gym, our unsuspecting chef is hard at work, probably in a restaurant kitchen. She takes out her trusty phone, presumably to check for any urgent calls or messages. But alas, the phone had other plans and decided to take a dip in the sizzling fryer. As she reaches for the pair of tongs to save her phone like she's rescuing a wayward onion ring, she fishes her phone out from the bubbling oil. And you can imagine the surprise on her face. Part shock, part triumph. Did anyone order a crispy cellular? The best part? This side-splitting spectacle has racked up over 1 million views, and you can bet the internet isn't letting this one fry away anytime soon. Triangular UFO this video proves that you should keep your camera on until the end of the whole episode, no matter what. This cameraman found this weird triangular UFO in the sky and decided to record it. But as soon as he took his camera off the site, the UFO vanished, and he didn't get the disappearing on camera. What if the UFO was studying him all along? What if the aliens were spying on him and they sped off as soon as they noticed he wasn't looking? Or what if it wasn't a UFO? What if it's a hanging parachute in the air? Or a new invention Elon Musk has decided to invent and was just testing it in the sky? There are many possibilities, but whatever happened, it's a little disappointing not to have a shot of it disappearing. Cafe Worker Dance Some folks might argue they're not exactly K-pop enthusiasts, but let's be real, there's no middle ground when it comes to K-pop. You're either on board with the insanely catchy tunes or in the Sorry Not My Jam camp. And for this cafe worker, she's an extreme fan. While cleaning up shop after a long day of caffeine-fueled chaos, she channels her inner K-pop diva and starts busting out the choreography to Itzy's Loco. When she finally noticed her cafe manager, you can't miss this classic face-off moment. She immediately went from superstar to embarrassed bystander. But hold on, the manager isn't reaching for the You're Fired button. Nope, instead he broke into applause. But is that a genuine standing ovation for her skills? Or is it a sneaky, you're about to be unemployed clap in disguise? If she does get the boot, at least she can proudly say she got fired for being the office K-pop dance queen. And now, for our final clip, hold on to your socks because you might get blown away. Mysterious Cryptid Do you believe in ghosts? What about men in bodysuits acting like ghosts? Now, look at the video and let us know what you think. This is the video obtained from a resident security camera in South Venice. The residents were at home at the time this video was taken, and they could see the creepy creature tiptoe toward the car like it didn't want to be seen. But then again, does a ghost tiptoe? If there's anything one knows about ghosts is that they're very territorial. They own their space and they want nothing more than to chase intruders away. So maybe it's not a ghost, maybe it's an alien. But an alien would crash land, right? Isn't that what aliens do? They come in a UFO, crash land, and then begin to take over the world. Or maybe it's a spy alien. While you could think of all the things, some of you could still be thinking this is just a regular guy who works in a restaurant, dressed up in a bodysuit, looking for the keys to the car. Or maybe it's their daughter's secret boyfriend. Who knows? And there you have it.